Would you guys like to see a glitch? Um, that's a rhetorical question because I'm going to be showing a glitch here whether you like it or not. Uh, it's a glitch that I've actually encountered before in this Let's Play, but it's been something I can't really show off because it doesn't look like a glitch. Um, it's something where you'd have to see what direction the controller is inputting. So, but I found a way to emulate the glitch in a fashion that you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. Um, how you do it is you have to go through a camera change while holding a direction that is not forward. Forward sometimes does it, but it's a little bit harder to trigger. So, uh, like, it, for example, let's see, this line goes up here, okay. If I face this wall and hold backwards so that I run through the mirror, I will continue running, right? In the direction that I was heading when I went through the mirror cam sequence. Not really sequence, but the mirror cam. Um, now, the funny thing about this, I am not inputting this direction. I am inputting to the side. I was inputting to the right there. So, it was locking my direction. And the thing didn't really work there, but I can show you right here. There. I am holding down and a little bit to the right. So, you can see how this can kind of be a bad thing. Um, it doesn't just trigger for mirror cams. It triggers for any any change in the camera view that you don't instigate. So, if you go into a large area um, while holding a direction and the camera shifts because it can't really... It's not an area where you can manipulate the camera very well. Um, the game will take over, shift the camera, but you will be moving the same direction that you were before... It happened, locking your direction so that it doesn't wig out, but it can actually lead to kind of bad situations. So it's a, it's a weird glitch. It's not technically a glitch, because they, they did design it in there, but it's something that is not a good design choice, where you can accidentally run into a pit without any control. See, I'm holding, I was holding to the right there, and it's, it's a weird thing. I don't really get the whole thing with that. Yeah. Anyway, hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Okami. Last episode, we got the last brush technique in the game. Blizzard, a.k.a. Ice Storm. It is so cool, and I do not intend that pun, because it's a really, it's a really overdone pun whenever ice is involved. Oh, and we also got Solar Flare! A Dragon Ball Z technique, and also the best reflector in the game. It's also the reflector that Shiranui wielded when we saw Shiranui back 100 years in the past. This time, we're going to be going through this gate because... Great things lie beyond. It's good that I uh, ended that last episode where I did because... This is indeed exactly what it looks like. <laughs> Look who's here. This guy doesn't waste any time. I like his style. This must be the silver demon, Nechku. He's one of the twin demons that turned Kamui into an icy waste. What luck finding him alone. Sorry, fella. I know you just recently woke from a long slumber, but you're going to have to go back to being a statue again. Hey, where's that bird brain going? Huh? Look, over there. Isn't that you from 100 years ago, Ami? I don't get it. What's that old self of yours doing here?
the battle against Nechku with Shirnui guiding us. Uh, this battle is mostly going to be Shirnui defeating him. However, we'll be playing a part of our own. Uh, Shirnui will be countering most of his attacks, but those that he doesn't, we will be dodging or blocking. So, just leave, uh, let Shirnui attack him where he will. Brush techniques do not work, as you might, uh, might expect. So, all in all, just let him take the wheel when he sees fit. There it is. Right there. He will be dealing most of the damage and bringing down his shield for us to be able to harm him. So, Nechku, I really like what they did here. It's a very different enemy. Unlike, um, unlike, uh, o Orochi, he is, this enemy is silently evil. He is evil, but he doesn't have any conscience. He doesn't have any, any feelings. He's just, he's just a robot doing what he will, doing what evil tells him to. And it's very interesting. I mean, he is a demon. I'm not, I'm not going to say he's a robot pro programmed to do evil, but He's just so quiet about it. It gives him a bigger menace than you'd think. So I guess I should talk about his attacks. Um, when he summons the cursed fruits that the cursed uh, trees will summon, you can just power slash them back to block it, and that's his only attack right now. Wow. You guys really did a number on Bird Brain there. Quick, Ami, before your old self steals all the glory. Finish that demon off. What the? That's the gold demon, Lechku. And look, isn't that Oki? At last, at last I have you cornered. I'm going to finish you off this time. Kutane shall blaze silver once more. Those demons aren't finished yet. Better back off for now, Ami. No, Oki, don't! This is what separates a hero from the rest. You are about to witness his history in the making. Kutone, trusty sword of the great hero Oki, shall awake. Has he lost his mind? What in the world? I can't... I can't move. Hmm? I... I can't even breathe. Oki, get away from there. You... Demons. Curse you! Now's the chance! I can finish them off! Come on, Ami! Pull! Just a little more!
Oki! Your sword! Hmm? Kutane. It's glowing silver. By the great spirits of the air, earth, and sea. I was so blind. I should have known. At last I understand. The sacred sword Kutane, defender of Kamui, could not possibly wake while the heart of its wielder was clouded with selfish desire. That is why I couldn't defend Kamui with this sword, let alone protect the lives, of de the lives dear to me. Now, don't start turning all sappy on me, Oki. You gotta focus. Focus! Finish off those demons, and you'll restore peace to your village. O oh, spirits of the air, earth, and sea, and the sacred sword, Kutane, grant me the power to save this land of Kamui. Now you're talking. But, that victory and Kutane's prophecy being fulfilled came with a horrible price. Shirinui, our greatest asset and probably the greatest warrior who's lived in the land of Nippon, is, pretty, is dying. It seems those demons fled to, the, fled to the altar on the opposite side, but I have no idea how to get there. This shrine is like a maze. We need something to lead us in the right direction. Wait. Remember when this wolf struck one of the demons? Did you see the strange glowing piece that flew off of it? Maybe this shrine and those demons operate in a similar way. If only we had something to lead us in the right direction. So, I remember that piece falling off, but where... Ah, there it is. It's a gear or, or something. Let's return it to Oki. I have no idea what we just found, but it sure looks interesting. Amaterasu! This wolf isn't going to last much longer. I owe my life to this one now. I cannot let this wolf die like this. Don't worry. I know this wolf's companion must be around here somewhere. You'll know him right away. He's a Ponkel just like me. Hmm. So this wolf has a Ponkel companion as well. And it looks almost exactly like a Madarasu. What's going on? Even their scents are the same. It's a long story, believe me. And this is a, not exactly the time to be talking. We gotta go chase down those demons. You're right. We must finish them off. Let us do, us, do it together this time. Listen, you two. I'm going to stay here with this wolf. You go on ahead. What? I can't leave this one here all alone. What happened to this wolf is all my fault. Okay. Don't worry. I don't intend on having you fight those demons alone. I'll catch up with you once I finish off the rest of the monsters and make sure this area is safe. Keep forging ahead until then. Oh, come off it already, Oki. You're not really all that tough. I mean, with your plan, we'd end up having to worry about you. But, if you insist, we'll leave this area to you. We'll go on ahead to see where those monsters are. Look after that wolf, okay? I will. O oh, spirits of the air, earth, and sea, grant these two your divine power. This is what I was talking about with being, with paying close attention to the story. Right there, I mean, if if you had paid attention during the um, the area that we were in a um, hundred years ago when we defeated Orochi, Shirinui was not that wounded. Shirinui was pretty much fine after blocking that boulder. I mean, granted, uh, granted. Uh, Nagi did carry him out, but still, that boulder would not have been nearly that much for someone as powerful as Shirinui. Man, it wouldn't be that much for us right now. So there had to be something else that caused Shirinui to be that wounded. And maybe that was because Shirinui was already wounded. So, these cannons are familiar to us, um, and we have to cross that area over there. So, let's see, what could we do here? We have fire to light this. 
I say we fire everything we have that way, but it's going to be a little bit hard because we have to time it. So let's go ahead and start with the easy ones. There's that. And there is that. And we could probably light this one here. Maybe. Wow, that was, that was actually... Actually, that was not a perfect shot at all. But yeah, another thing is the 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 um the character progression of Oki. You know, he when we met him, he was he was extremely selfish. He was all about his I mean, he was trying to save the village, but he was almost all about his own glory. He was trying to save it on his own without anyone's help. He downright chased the villagers away even though for all he knew, they could have helped him um get Kutane glowing. But here we have him we have him learn more about selflessness, and as a result, that actually is the thing that triggered Kutane. Okay, let's see. Can we do this here? No. Here. And will it work this time? There! That, that's the shot I needed. And one last one. Turn around. Uh, that's probably... Uh, yeah, that's probably good. Yeet! Yes, that, that was okay. That wasn't that bad. Okay, now that that's done, and that is necessary, we need to cross this using Blizzard. Th that's good enough. Now that cannon will shoot at us while we while we cross. Oh, but we can just power... No! We can just power slash this back. Use ice again. Because I need, I need to get off this off midair as soon as possible. Oh, no. Let's slow down time here. No. Don't fall, Amaterasu. Power slash that back. Run. Uh, no, that's not, that is not the good time for a cutscene. No, no. No, no, no. Time still passes during that. Run. Jump. And did I make, yes, I made it. I got hurt, but I made it. Woo. That was... That was like a, a battle right there. We had the cannons going on and all that stuff. Oh, and that path over there is actually where we got Blizzard in the first place, so kind of made a big loop. Whoa! That was scary. Oh, you again. Stupid great Tengu. Uh, this. There. So, now, I can, actually, I can show this guy's bio now because we have his Flora Fincher. It, uh, get, get off me, get off me. Did I overkill it? I don't think I did. Uh, it's floor Fincher is, no, not that, it's, no, it is, ah, missed it. Uh, his, his floor Fincher is Blizzard, but I was not able to get it there. I believe it gives like five demon fangs, I'm not sure. Okay, there, there's probably a secret here, right? Up there, maybe? No, I probably can't reach that. No, I can't. Um, secrets. Well, we can we can destroy this. Maybe something's underneath. But no, it doesn't seem like there are any secrets. Also, this totally looks like a, a sucker, like a lollipop sucker. That's pretty cool. Okay, so. Oh. Um. Dorito wheels. Okay, I got it. Now, question, we're supposed to be freezing these, but there is no source of ice here, and, you know, they're not expecting you to know Ice Storm at this point, so does Deluge do it? No. Deluge just... How are we supposed to do this without knowing Ice Storm? That, that seems really weird. Can we... I mean, I know I can just use Ice Storm, I know that, but it seems weird that they would require a technique that we don't, I mean, that we wouldn't know, we wouldn't necessarily know. That's, that's mystifying. Okay, let's try to keep all these things frozen, because if they are not frozen, then, like, we'll have to use the technique again. So, let's make sure stuff stays, ooh, stays cold, make sure it stays absolute zero. No. Come on, get over here, refreeze these, get over here, we could, we could make it from here, but that thing, there's a dig spot or a bomb spot over there, and I don't want to miss that. Ugh. Okay, jump onto the platform, 
bomb it and then immediately take turn around and refreeze something. I want to keep this stuff alive. Oh, and there's a key. Okay, that was required. Okay, let's refreeze. Freeze. Done. We only need... We really only need one wheel turning. Although two would be nice. Okay, we can make that. We can make it. Yes, we can. That was nice. Okay. Lockjaw. Or Igors. Whichever you like to call them. It's really quite nice th that this is a two-part dungeon. I mean... A shopkeeper? Really? How much? Oh yeah, we have a lot of money. I was like, how much money do we have? I really like, but what I was saying is, I like that this is a two-part dungeon, because, you know, it's, it's two parts long. It's, we just faced the boss, and we sort of got a reward for it. I mean, we got a gear, but we faced the boss, and now we have to chase down the boss in the same exact dungeon to finally defeat it. I just, how did Oki beat us here? That's just really neat to me. That, that's something I really, really enjoy, because no, I've never played a game where there's a dungeon or a level like that before. It just... It, I, this area of the game is my favorite just because it shakes up any pattern that could have possibly been derived from the uh, previous por portion of the game. Who goes there? Hey, how did you get in here? You cannot come to invade poor folk of Waku Shrine. Or have you? If you have, you've got me to answer to. A fight to end all fights, and the best way to sell it, settle it? With a bit of business, of course. Yes, I'll do shopping. Put your weapon away. Uh, we have ruby tassels, sapphire tassels, emerald tassels, kutani pottery, at glass. That's a lot of money. And yes, nothing new to sell us. Okay. I was kind of expecting something nice, but no. You know what? Steel fist sake. <laughs> I'm just gonna do a little bit of my... No, I'll do that later. Forget it. I'm not gonna do any shopping right now. I don't need to do any shopping. I'm fine on items. I'll wait to do my... my... whatchamacallit shopping for later. Oki! How do you get here so quick? Actually, I owe it to that wolf and his little friend. A punkle appeared after you left and told me to go help a Matarasu. So, that was the wolf's companion you were talking about, right? That wolf really seemed to perk up when that punkle appeared. It looked like the wolf had recovered somewhat. I sensed they had a bond. A bond that made me feel they'd be okay. So I left them and came rushing here. But enough talk for now. I take it that if you're here, those demons must be somewhere up ahead. Well, Matarasu, will you fight alongside me? What? <laughs> um... Let's rumble! Grant us your divine power. Okay. So this is where those bird brains went. They're re they're trying to hide while they lick their wounds. We can't let those infernal contraptions get away this time. And I don't think we have enough energy to chase them down again. Them? Get away again? <laughs> no prey has ever eluded my trusty Denkumaru more than once. Nor my own. This time, we fight side by side as allies, not as rivals. So, for the most part, Oki won't be doing much. For the most part, he is actually necessary to beat this. But, he will be firing uh, icicles that will be blocked by the demons every time. Just you wait till he gets rolling, though. So, they, all these uh, Lechku and Nechku have the attacks of many of the bosses, of the, the actual bosses that we've faced thus far. There's the Spider Queen's egg, which we need to power slash in order to block. So, we can block them, but we can't actually do anything. That's where Oki! Oh, wow. Oops. <laughs> uh, you know what? Uh, I have a bunch of godly charms. I need to use them. Godly charm. Thank you. 
and good night. So there is nine strike. Still looking great. So we have to wait for Oki to do this. Now, Amaterasu, pull me back like an arrow and fire me at those demons. I will pull them down to the ground. So we have to bite the bow that he creates and shoot him at the enemy. Now, you have to be careful about, uh, about what brush technique you use on them. You want to be very careful. I, for the most part, am going to be using Thunderstorm. It will bring them to the ground and you can actually damage them now. However, if you want to damage them more, you have to use the same element that you use to bring them to the ground. If you use Power Slash, then you have to use Power Slash, Inferno, Inferno. Then, uh, or in my case, if I use Thunderstorm, I need to use a Lightning Technique to damage them even more. If you use any other technique, they'll immediately spring back up off the ground. Oh boy. Oh, okay, if there's a bomb, you need to use Inferno from one of these many torches to light it prematurely and stun the the demon. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, uh, when, they, when they summon attacks, it is always a good idea to use Veiled Mist to dodge them. Um, you can reflect these fruit back at the enemies with Power Slash. It doesn't do much. Oh, that's bad. Power Slash, there you go. It's mostly just... Oh, double... It's mostly... That was bad. It's mostly just a game of countering their attacks until Oki is able to bring them to the ground. So, in this case, let's use um, Blizzard. And do some serious damage here. Uh, let's go ahead and use Blizzard again because he's almost out of his cycle. There. That did quite a lot of damage and he is below half health. He is in big trouble and can we wait we can still damage him what oh okay was it because i froze him because it almost looked like it was because i froze him maybe you wait oh what okay uh i didn't know this but apparently if you use if you use ice storm it will lock them in place that's real oh my um is that like that in other things? Okay, I'm trying different techniques to see if it does that, because I don't think it does... I don't think that any other technique does this. Okay, so, uh, uh, Lechku is out of commission, commission, so we just have Netku to face. Um, you, you could hit them with, with Holy Eagle, but I personally just like to keep my distance uh, and negate his techniques. Oh, that's a fire technique. Let's use fire. And Oki's ready. Let's pull him back, pull, and fire him. Uh, now, let's see, we have not used fire yet, so let's use that. All three techniques, or all three elements, and let's see if it locks him in place, because we have not yet been able to do any damage to Electricu. Come on. Oh, wow, so it is actually, it is actually Ice Storm that locks them in place. Interesting, I didn't know that. Okay, you, you're not going to be able to use that technique on me. I, I may not be able to use multiple power slashes at once like Shirinui can, but I, I am skilled enough to block all of your techniques and not take any damage. For example, no. For example, yes, yes. Bloom was not Bloom was not my bane this time. And fire, uh, source of fire, bomb, blow up the bomb. And shoot Oki. Now let's use Ice Storm this time. And let's finish him off. In fact, let's get double reflect. Uh, uh, no, let's get double glaives in on this action, and get the same type of attack bonus to deal more damage. Look at that! Oh, I I didn't freeze him soon enough, but that's fine. We did over half of his health, maybe about 60%. And the next next time he's vulnerable, we'll be able to finish him off. This battle truly would not be possible without Oki. We're not, we're not as powerful as Shirnui. We cannot take them on, on, on our own. We need help. I'm really glad that Oki's here to help us. Okay, this is not going to hit me ever. It's in fact going to heal me. Thank you. Oki, are you ready? Nope, one more attack. Now Oki's ready. Let's do it. Oh, I missed. Matarasu, don't hold back. You'll have to pull me back with all your strength to reach them. Uh, I accidentally missed there. That was bad. But we have a second try. Thank goodness for second tries. 
Okay, let's charge this up. Use Blizzard. Charge it up. And deal so much damage. Uh, can we freeze him again? Nope. He has a, just a shred of health left. Just a tiny shred. One more attack. Just one will finish him off. Come on. Use one more attack. I know it's coming. Nope. Nope! Not that... Oh, that was so close. And actually, literally, he probably has... If there was HP, he'd have one HP left. That's insane. The twin demons, which had suddenly awoke atop Ezofuji and tried to lay waste to the land of Kamui, were defeated. They disappeared in a burst of petals, thanks to Oki and Amaterasu. However, a giant cloud, black as night, cast a shadow on the scene. Blight, Nine Tails, the twin demons Lechku and Nechku, the souls of each were swept into the cloud as it moved. It drifted toward the Ark of Yamato at the bottom of Leochi Lake. The Ark of Yamato is beckoning all the world's darkness within. Tuskel's words echoed ominously, awakening Amaterasu's heart. All the sacrifices, all the life lost in the name of good. Was it all in vain? Shirnui's and Amaterasu's 100-year incarnation was fatigued and exhausted by the ex intense battle. However, when Shirinui noticed the glow of Oki's sword, Kutune, a sly smile seemed to crease the wolf's tired lips. Satisfied with this bright glimmer of hope, Shirinui struggled to rise and put every last ounce of his strength into passing through Ishaku's gate back in time, back home. As Amaterasu and Isun looked on, they were fully aware that Shirinui headed back into the face of danger to the battle wi within Orochi. After saving Nagi from the clutches of death and aiding them in their own quest, Shirinui would die a hero, marking the beginning of a legend of Orochi. As Ishaku left the scene, his eyes betrayed the sort of toughness one exhibits when preparing for a grave ev event. We obtained the last Sun Fragment in the game! Full health, full ink, full wallet, full, uh, uh, astral pouch, full everything, except weapons. There it is. We have 20 units of health. And we did pretty well. 136,000 yen, which... I don't even know why I do this little commentary on the results of a battle. But... I may not know that, but I do know... That... The Kamui Saga is over. There is one last one in the game. Some of you are going, yes! One more saga! He tricked us into thinking there are only three. There's actually four. And this game, this Let's Play is going to go on for like 40 more episodes. <sighs> and some of you are going, no, just make this game end. And I'm like, okay. There's one more saga left in the game, but it is indeed coming to a close. The end is coming very, very quickly. And there aren't going to be that many episodes left. I know. It's been a great Let's Play. And it's been a fantastic experience through the Kamui Saga. And I was so excited to do it. And I'm so glad that I did it in front of you. I, I kind of, I'm kind of acting like I'm wrapping up the Let's Play. And I I actually kind of am. Um, I, I don't know. It's... 
I was really happy to go through this, and I'm really glad that you guys have watched. But the end of the game is is coming, so stay tuned for next time in Pal Plays Okami, where we actually won't be doing much st many story things, but we will be wrapping things up in preparation for said story things. So join me then. I release new episodes of Okami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are long episodes, and if you like this episode, then comment. If you didn't like this episode, then go ahead and make a comment uh, telling me how I could make the next episode so that you would like it. So, I will see you guys next time on Pal Plays Okami.